Luca Brissell through to tomorrow's final here at the Bet Victor English Open with a 6 2 win over Mark Allen. How are you feeling, Luca? Yeah, very, very happy. Probably the happiest I've been for a long time in snooker um, with the win. Um, semis are so big, you know, you, you really want to get to that final. If you lose in the semis, it's going to hurt for a while. So, uh, very happy, yeah, very, very happy. You raced into a 5 0 lead, and, and Mark took the next two frames to make it 5-2. He's got that ability to come back, hasn't he? That, that must have played on your mind slightly when he started coming back at you. Yeah, at 5-0 I was relaxed, but then he had a w one chance uh, to make it 5-1. Then he had another one after, off, the, off the break of 5-2. So then it's, it's a bit tricky because if he goes 5-3, then it's, you're going to panic a little bit, which is obvious. And Especially after I missed the black on 51, uh, I was like, mm, maybe it's not going to be my day. <laughs> uh, but you have to keep calm and see what happens. And luckily, he missed the black after the fluke and I got over the line. You said at the top of the interview about being happy. And I was chatting to your dad before. And I said, you look happy. And when, when you're happy, you play snooker very well. Yeah, when I'm happy and when I'm focused. I think a lot of the times when I lose is because of focus. You know, Sometimes I have a problem with getting motivated sometimes. Um, but this week, I mean, after I lost to Fraser in, in Scotland, Fraser Patrick, I really went home and I talked to my dad and my mom. I was like, something needs to change. You know, my mindset needs to change. All the rest was good, but just my mindset. I wasn't giving it everything, you know, to win. And I've done that this week and you see it pays off, you know. It's, uh, it's just a mindset change. And as well as changing your mindset, you're changing your language as well. You're learning Spanish. Yeah, I've been learning Spanish for like maybe four or five months now. Uh, and I have done it before, like a couple of years ago, I've done like two, three months. Um, so I, I know quite a bit. Uh, I watch uh, a Spanish series on Netflix. Um, so yeah, it's quite good, it's fun. Impressive stuff. Well, you've won the China Championship, Championship League, Scottish Open last year. If you were to win the Betvik to English Open tomorrow, where would that rank? Um, in terms of, of best achievements, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah probably quite high because I came here with not that much of confidence. Um, I even texted uh, one of the guys I know quite well, uh, Curtis hmm. Braithwaite. Um, I texted him before the tournament, I was like, I'm a bit, little bit low on confidence, this and that. And he just said to me, like, um, just remember who you are, you know, you're top, top 10 of the world. You got to all these finals in 12 months, just remember that. And yeah, it, it, it helped. You mentioned all the finals in the last the last year, 18 months. Your opponent tomorrow, Mark Selby, is going to be playing in his first final in 19 months since he won the right. World Championship. He's not not he's been to a final since then. You're head to head. Not that experienced then. I was going to say, your head to head is very, very level. Maybe not recently experienced, but he's got bags of it. We're in for a great final. Yeah, I think it's, it's his 31st final, maybe. Uh, and it's my sixth, I think, or seventh. Um, so it's a big difference in experience, but. Uh, when I'm feeling well, you know, you feel like you can beat anyone, but obviously you can always lose. Uh, Mark's a fantastic player, four times world champ, so that says enough. And uh, I need to play like today and like that yesterday, and then I'll have a good chance to win. But if I don't, it's going to be very tough over a best of 17. So, but yeah, we'll see. I think we're in for a great final. Good luck tomorrow, Luca. Cheers. Thank you.